Hey everyone, welcome to Tea Time with Tea. And on this glorious Wednesday, you might hear the background noise of the rain pouring down. It has been raining since sometime last night, and it's supposed to turn into a wintry mix with ice and snow. And I live in the freaking south, and we're not supposed to get this crap, but we are. So I have to film the videos with the door open. So enjoy the rain. And we will jump right on to topic today. And this is from April on Facebook. And it just says mixed relationships. Well, I don't know what you're mixing your relationships with, but if it's booze or lies or cheating, that's not a good mix. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, mixed relationships. That is interracial relationships. It doesn't matter what nationality you are, what color your fucking skin is. You both bleed red. Um, I'm not prejudiced. I do live in an area that is very prejudiced. But it's amazing I come out with the open mind that I have. Um, I don't have a problem with interracial relationships or mixed relationships. Um, I do know some people that do have problems. I actually went to high school with a girl who, um, as you can see, I am Caucasian. Uh, and so was she. The, my area is predominantly white. Uh, but she moved off to another area and married an African American or black man. And her family disowned her. Um, my mother flipped out. The first time she found out that a black man had asked me out on a date. And she's like, well, what's everybody going to think? Is that the best she can do? Well, you know what? Who cares if he's purple with pink polka dots? As long as he's good to me, who the fuck cares? Skin color is just skin color. It is something else that makes you unique, like your personality, your eye color. What the fuck ever. It doesn't matter. As long as you're good to each other and love each other, it's none of anybody else's business. And people who are judgmental need to fucking get over it. Their lives are not perfect. So quit trying to pinpoint everything you think is wrong with somebody else's life. It's just plain and simple. I think, you know, to each their own. You know, I, it's like extreme sports. You know, I'm not afraid of heights, but uh, you're not going to catch my fat ass bungee jumping. But I'm not going to down somebody who does it. And, you know, I may not want uh, someone that is super thin, but, you know, you're not going to get me to judge you because you like really thin people. Everybody has their own taste and preferences. And, you know, whether it's skin color or actual nationality, you know, like if they're actually from another nation, um, it doesn't matter. Because it's your life. You live it the way you want to. Don't be, you know, worrying about what other people think so much. Because, you know, life's too fucking short. And, you know, why take it so seriously? Excuse me a second. I need a drink. <sighs> Excuse me again. Life is too short for you to be worrying about what other people think. And don't be so serious all the time because, you know, nobody gets out alive anyway. So... You know, carpe diem. And I didn't, as you noticed, did not say YOLO. YOLO is for, is the phrase that is for those people who do not know what carpe diem means. Um, this younger generation coming up think they've been cr created something new. You know, carpe diem is old. It has been around forever. And we should all really take that to heart. Seize the day. If you have a person in front of you that 
loves you, actually cares whether you live or die, whether you're happy or not, wants to, you know, make all your dreams come true. Fucking, you know, cleave on to them and love the shit out of them back. It's just, it's too short to live unhappy and worrying about small-minded pricks and their fucking opinions. Because opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one, but they're not always good. So, that is short and sweet and to the point well, not so sweet, because I've never claimed to be sweet. Um, honest, yes. Blunt, yes. Cuss like a fucking sailor, yes. Um, no offense to sailors, because some of you do not cuss. It's just an age-long saying. Um, I don't have anything else to say about it, because, you know, I'm very adamant about if people don't like what you're doing with your life, fuck them. You know, it's none of their damn business. It's your life. If you want to marry or be in a relationship with someone that is not of the same skin color, nationality, religious sect, it doesn't matter to anybody but you and the person you're in a relationship with. You know, if your family doesn't approve, so what? They're not technically in a relationship with your family. They're in a relationship with you. Um, yes, family plays a big part, but sometimes we put too much emphasis on what our family thinks when we should be worrying about what we think, what we feel. So, that's it on that subject. If you have a topic you would like for me to sound off on, please, you know, leave it in the comments below or Scoot on over to Facebook, the link's below, and leave it there. If you want to be anonymous, send me a message on Facebook. You know, I'll keep you anonymous. It doesn't matter to me. No topic is, you know, blacklisted. We'll, I'll talk about just about anything. Um, if you do like the videos, please give them a thumbs up and subscribe and send all your friends over and, you know, just... Live your life to make you happy. And please remember, be good to everyone, but especially be good to you. And until next week, see you later.